<laughs> the heavens twist and thunders roar, signaling the coming of this ancient creature and the dawn of true power. The Egyptian gods slide for the sky dragon! What is going on, my fellow nerd nerdettes? So, uh, today with another video, freaking awesome. I want to say a huge first shout out to my cousin Sam who actually picked this up for me. Um, I know in California, I think you guys got these first and they're going on eBay and Macari for like 70 bucks, 80, 60, 50. So really, really crazy prices. I was like, I'm not going to pay it. We haven't, I, I'm in Arizona, so we haven't gotten them yet. Uh, and then yesterday they started hitting. Um, I was, I'm always looking on offer up and I saw one or two people post them. So I'm like, oh shit, they're probably, you know, started hitting stores now. So I called a few of them and they're like, yeah, we only got nine in and they sold out as soon as we opened up. So I was like, great. So I was calling around, calling around and I got a hold of one guy who had one left and they can't put it on hold. So then I got a hold of my cousin. I'm like, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you go grab this for me? Uh, I called right before she left the house. It was still there and then she was able to get it for me. So really, really cool. Very happy. Um, as you guys know, Yu-Gi-Oh is one of my, my most favorite uh, shows ever, anime, whatever you guys want to call it. My the card game of this like seriously was like it is freaking awesome kept me out of trouble so i'm very very thankful i'm very happy for you like i said i still have cards to this day so really really happy that i was able to get this one i can't wait for raw to come out but um yeah let's go ahead and uh just do a review on this real quick so came out uh i think uh what's his face first summoned it strings uh first summon first summoned it against yugi uh when i saw that it was freaking amazing like one of the the best things I've ever seen in my life. Freaking awesome. Even in the intro for like Dual City where it shows like Yugi on the ground. And I believe he, it's like he's like going up against Slifer. Freaking awesome. The fact that he had two mouths, I was like, I, I've never been like super into dragons, but when I saw this one, like it's freaking amazing. So I was very curious as how I'm gonna do it into pop form. I've seen a bunch of pictures of it that looks really good. Um, and I'm just very happy to get it. Actually, before we take it out of the box, and there might be a glare, I hope there's not. But there's, uh, I'll move it around. So there's a front, side slifer, um, the back, and the side. Really, really cool. Yeah, the angels look freaking awesome. So, um, like I said in, in the first video with the obelisk, I, I wish they would have came out with them as 10 inches. Um, we st hopefully still have that, you know, um, I guess that chance. It just kind of sucks that if they do, it's go 6 to 10. Alrighty, and here he is. Oh my god, he looks so freaking cool. Oh my god, he looks so freaking cool. There is a lot of um, a lot of detail in this pop, like from underneath of his belly, if you guys can see that, underneath of his belly to his wings, uh, the little like spikes, I guess if you call them, like his back legs, his front legs. That was the thing I was curious about Slifers because if I can remember correctly, and sorry guys, it's very hot in here, Arizona heat. And I don't have the fan on because if not, it'll make noise. Um, but like when I like whenever you see Slifer come out, it, it was it was crazy because like I remember him on the blimp. He just wrapped around the blimp like I don't even know how many times. And so like to me, it's like I never saw the back of his legs. You always saw the front of his legs, but you never or his front legs, but you never saw like his back legs. So the fact that they're able to incorporate it is really really cool. So it's right there, and the way it just like I don't know if you guys can follow that. So there's the back of it. And it goes through this front part right here. And if you just trace it back, it goes down here, winds back up, goes, there's his back legs, it winds in, and then it finally comes out of his tail. So, like, it looks, I want to say sloppy, but it looks like very, very, I'm very happy with this mold. Like, and his freaking face is just amazing. Like, the teeth, his tongue, his eyes, they have this little second head. When they first announced it, I was so curious like they've done dragons before and with obelisk i mean obelisk is freaking awesome but he's just kind of like he has like a regular body um so when they announced slifer i was like i wonder how they're gonna do their head like his head is gonna have like the second mouth how it's gonna look i love the fact that it's open it has the same blue diamond like obelisk and if you start looking in there there's like a bunch of little like cracks and detail to his head that's freaking awesome you have his wings back there like really really cool freaking pop so happy like so freaking happy I got this. So uh, let me go ahead and put this on the rotating stand. I apologize if you can hear a little whiny noise. I think the battery is um, 
starting to go down on, on the rotating thing and the, and the weight of him. The the weight of him is not too bad. It is heavier than other pops, but he, it's really, really cool. Really worth it. Um, he stands just fine. <clears throat> As you can see, there's like space right there where his feet aren't going to sit flat. But, you know, the rest of the pot, it's not going like to tip over or anything. So that's really good. Um, like I said, I'm just very happy. The detail is freaking awesome. I love it. Um, I know this one was kind of a headache. I think it was going to Hot Topic first. I did my pre-order for that one. Uh, and then um, I believe they got canceled. And then supposedly it was going to go to Walmart. And then it was going to go to Target. Finally, I'm going to Target. My custom exotic neck rust right next to it. So, you know, it stands just as tall. But, like, like I said, guys, like the freaking detail on this, you guys... If you guys hunt this down, please don't pay the 70, 60 bucks for it. It'll come eventually. You just got to be patient. Like I told you guys before, patience is not one of my strong things. But in this case, paying $70 to paying 20 bucks is really, really, you know, it was worth the wait. So really cool pop though. Um, damn, I'm just so happy. And, you know, with the detail on this one, I really can't wait to see how they do raw. You know, the Wing Dragon of raw. That one's going to have, should have a shit ton of detail because that, Freaking wing dragging around when he finally gets out of his orb or sphere mode. Like, he is just detailed to crap. Jesus, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sweating. It's a thick shirt. I don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh shirts, but I saw this one, and I'm like, holy crap, looks like Cypher's mouth. So, um, yeah, Finn Balor. When he was good, Finn Balor. Demon Balor. But, um... Yeah, and like I said, I'm just very happy. Can't wait to see how they do Wing Dragon of Raw and to see if we get to, uh, the to see if we get 10-inch pops of these. As far as Cypher goes, I am very happy highly highly recommend it especially if you guys are into Yu-Gi-Oh pops Yu-Gi-Oh car stuff like that the detail on this if you can find it at the store for 20 bucks for sure get it uh if you can find one that's cost a little bit more still definitely worth it because this pop is freaking amazing like i can't stop staring at it it's so freaking cool so i'm gonna have to create a stand for my uh for my six inch uh Yu-Gi-Oh pops but um damn so freaking happy i got this very very happy so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for more nerd content. And uh, yeah, as always, remember, stay safe and stay nerdy. <laughs>